Hi and welcome to Micro Moment Monday. Actually, I'm videoing this on a Saturday. The fan that you hear in the background is the fan from the greenhouse. And we are walking out to the fruit tree gills because I want to show you one of my favorite herbs. And they are all over our place. When we first moved here 10 years ago, I bought, I imagine about 50 flats of different herbs and um, I'll be showing you a couple of places where we put them. Most of them have died, but we have one in particular that is so very hardy that I want to recommend it to anyone who lives in, like we do, kind of a harsh environment where daily temperatures can fluctuate as much as 50 degrees. So right here you can see this large purple plant this is catmint and we probably have 40 or 50 of these catmint plants around our place and i love them because they put out little babies every single season and i can transplant those so this is in our large uh, fruit tree guild and there is another one right over there some more around in back we do have a few herbs growing here that, that did not make it in the front and we're sort of headed to the front. So we're going to swing around here to this guild and this one is spectacular. Um, you may notice that these are just filled with bees. Now when we had our beehives just out not too far from here, this was a wonderful forage plant for our bees. <clears throat> and it, pretty much saved their lives during the early spring. This starts blooming this beautifully in May and it blooms all summer long. It's very prolific in May and then it kind of wanes going forward, but still it just blooms. And that is every bit of six feet wide. And it was cut back to the ground um, over the winter. So here is another one and a great big fat lizard, if you may have caught that. And then in the back is yet another. So we're gonna walk into the front and I'm going to show you how we started off 10 years ago. I am stopping under this beautiful tree. This is a honey locust tree. And you probably cannot hear, but this is full of bees. This is another great honey foraging plant. I'm trying to get closer to where the bees are and it smells phenomenal. One of my favorite things in May is to come stand under this tree and listen to the bees and smell the beautiful aroma. All right, we are walking now toward the front of our property. And when we first got here, the original owner of this place, uh, the wife was from England and she wanted a beautiful English garden. And so we had over an acre of grass, which was ridiculous out here in the desert. And so we took a huge swath all across the front of the yard. And this is where I planted most of our herbs. And at one point I had 30 different varieties. Over the past 10 years, cat mint has been the most hardy along with rosemary and pretty much everything else has gone. But you can see the clumps of the cat mint. Cat mint is wonderful because it attracts, um, it attracts bees for one thing, but pollinators. And so we probably have about 50 of these clumps. And what happens is the neighborhood cats, the reason that it is called cat mint is because it attracts cats. And they come in at night and just nestle right down in the middle and smash everything down. And it annoys me, but we're trying to be neighbor friendly. <clears throat> but you will see as we walk through here, clump after clump of this cat mint that is so hardy. And we cut it down every single winter. Here's another one with a cat bed right smack in the middle. 
and there is some rosemary in the shadows. More cat mint. And going forward, this is a purple robe locust tree and the beautiful purple blossoms also attract bees. We wanted lots and lots of plants for our bees, which we have subsequently given to our children. So there's one with a cat bed right in the middle and another one where the cats have just flattened the center and more going forward along with lots of clumps of rosemary. Here's rosemary. There is rosemary. So I highly recommend cat mint as a very, very hardy herb. And it is edible. You can make a tea out of it if that's your thing. And at one time, this whole swath that we have just walked through was so covered with about 30 different varieties of herbs and probably about five to 600 different plants that I could hardly walk through without stepping. But the hardy ones have won over the years. And so this is looking back across that swath. It's probably about 25 feet wide. And I have no idea, I'm not good with estimating, but um, quite a long, long ways. And all we have left pretty much is rosemary and the um, cat mint. And we're happy. It's lovely the way it is. This is a great big rosemary smells so good. So we are ending where we started, which is this great big six foot one right by this new little peach tree that we put in last year. And here are some of our other herbs that are growing. There's sage right there, lemon balm right there. So we do have a few things back here in these a fruit tree gills. So thanks for going on the walk around the yard to see why I just treasure cat mint. It really brightens up our property. So thanks for being with us and we will see you at our next micro moment.